Can you take us on set? What is the atmosphere like on there? It looked like you had a lot of fun. John Turtaub is a man who requires a little dose of that every day. So he's always want to mess around and inject a little bit of his own sensibility into all of the characters. In some way, it always creeps in. And I think that shows, it's, you know, the movie is made is, is probably going to surprise a lot of people. They might expect one thing and end up getting something else, but it's definitely, he's given his own tone. And I think that is something that people will see clearly when they watch the movie. You know, we're getting stuck in wetsuits all day and we're stuffed in the ocean at silly temperatures. And some of the conditions are not always the best. So you do need to be able to lighten that up a little bit. It's just about enjoying the day and you, you've got your own way to put a spin on that. We had a great budget, we had a fantastic cast, we had an amazing location being in New Zealand. And I feel like the general mood was just laughing. Jason's hilarious. Everybody has such a great sense of humor. And then to top it off, the, the person that really sets the tone of a film is the director. And there is no one funnier and, and more kind of like inappropriate and ridiculous than John Turtletop. Like I would do every movie with him. He just makes every day a delight and we had a lot of fun. We were, spent most of the film on a boat in some way, shape or form. It was either half a boat in a tank where we were shooting with green screen or on an actual boat out on the ocean. We just had so much fun. It was just like hanging out and with with eight or 10 of just the funniest, coolest people you can imagine. And we just had a blast because we were out there for months and really got to know each other. And uh, had, and we were in New Zealand, like which is like the most beautiful place on earth. Yeah. Uh, it was Don't tell kind, Australia that I said that, but yeah. Kind of a dream job. Every day we, you know, we work on the water, but we have two tanks. So we have a big tank, we have a deep tank. One tank, we can put the ship on the water so we can we don't need to go out every day shooting on the ocean so we can shoot, shoot at the studio and uh, we still have a very deep tank that we can shoot the uh, some scene uh, under the water really deep water can you confirm or deny if there were any fake sharks <laughs> <laughs> Well, as far as I know, there aren't any real ones. How do you imagine what's out there? It's pretty easy. Yeah. John said it the other day, we were sat next to each other, and he says, look, people pretend that that person's the queen or that person's gonna be... It's like we're just pretending there's a shark over there. It's the same thing. Well, how are you with sharks in real life? I'd say I'm like most people, careful, anxious, and that sometimes shit scared. <laughs> I went to Fiji, which is a couple of hours from New Zealand, and there's a dive that you can do there for a couple of days with a with the local Fijians that set up a, a wall and you go down to 20 meters and you literally witness the hand feeding of uh, 25 bull sharks. And I did that and it was one of the best and the most like, thrilling things I've ever done. I tell you, it, it was something that I highly recommend. <laughs> Even if you're shit scared, you have to try it. It will, it will change your uh, perception of, of sharks. They're, you are mesmerized by the whole experience. Yeah. Do you have a favorite deleted scene that didn't make it in? <laughs> there was, I, I, I think it's probably good I didn't make it in, but there was one scene that we spent all day on and, and John just had this idea that Jason should say, you know, the things that he needs for this sort of mission or whatever. And, and, and then he's like, and then say, and a banana. And so you've got Jason, you know, naming all this, like the list of what he had to memorize, by the way, was so ridiculous, like things I've right. never heard of. And he has to get all the way down the bottom of this monologue and then be like, and a banana. And it, we did it for five hours or something, only to watch the film and, and have it cut and be like, are you serious? What happened to the banana line? What happened to the banana? Everyone's really excited for the new Fast and Furious as well. Is there anything you can tease about that? I'm excited that Idris is in it. You know, one of my favorite actors, a lifelong wait to try and do something with him. Very excited about that. Me and Dwayne are gonna be back to our old sort of antics. You know, we got one of the best, if not the best action director on the planet today. Dave Leach is someone I've known for, you know, 15, 18 years. And no one directs action better than him. He's got some great ideas. I think he's gonna be good. Ruby, you've been in so many sort of action movies that we all love. Are there any other action movies that you'd love to be in? Yeah, I mean, if there's the right character and the right story and the right, whether it's a franchise or whatever, of course, I'm a physical person. I love doing stunts. I love doing all my own stunts uh, as much as I can. But, you know, I also like to diversify and, and do different genres as well. And what about superhero movies? Because they're so huge. Is there a superhero that you'd love to tackle or a villain in that realm? I feel like I answered this once and it became such a big deal because A, some people wished that I hadn't have said this person and then B, then it became a film and then everyone was like, well, Ruby. So I feel like I can't answer that question without it being like quite loaded. 
Because there are so many and there are plenty casting now and yeah. Superheroes are cool. I feel like everyone kind of wants to do that and wants to see that right now because I think we feel like we would like a superhero in today's age. I think I should be the next Bond. I would be so up for that, but I think you should be a Bond villain. Or a Bond villain. I think you would nail that. I just, but I want a really interesting creature to pet as a Bond villain. Like, I don't know, a lemur or something I like that. Lemurs.